Welcome to Preform Line Products. The following presentation illustrates the recommended hand application of the alloy tie. Every alloy tie is equipped with at least two color codes, an identification flag, and tie tube. The color mark closest to the leg end represents the insulator head designation. The color mark nearest the tie center represents the conductor range. The identification flag includes the most common conductor size covered by the tie's range, the complete conductor range, the insulator information, and the catalog number. Install the tie tube on the conductor. Open the tube at the split and fold it back on itself several times to reduce stiffness. Bend the tube in half, splitting it open and apply half of the tube to the conductor with the slit facing away from the insulator. Use the other half as a handle to push the tube into place while slightly lifting the conductor off the insulator. Grasp both legs of the alloy tie and flex together slightly. Place the alloy tie on top of the insulator with the crown up. Grasping the leg on the left side of the insulator from beneath the conductor, rotate the tie counterclockwise 180 degrees. Both legs should pass below the conductor. This will cause the center of the tie to screw onto the head of the insulator, locking the conductor in place. Complete the installation by wrapping each leg around the conductor following the conductor's lay direction. Make sure leg ends are completely snapped into place. This completes the installation of the alloy tie. This featured preform product is manufactured in the United States and is backed by the experience and field support that PLP has been noted for since 1947. All safety guidelines set forth in the appropriate application procedure for this product must be reviewed and followed prior to installing this product. The installation shown is intended to illustrate the application method of the product only. It is not intended to supersede any standard utility safety guideline and practices or use of required protective equipment.